Hi guys, it's Ben here and one of Liverpool's prime targets this summer, Virgil van Dijk, has finally handed in a transfer request to Southampton. So Southampton's Dutch defender Virgil van Dijk has handed in a transfer request at the South Coast Club. Is this a boost for Liverpool or is it good news for Chelsea? We'll have to wait and see. The statement reads that he has handed in a request, he's been fined two weeks wages, he's reiterated his desire to play European football, he's told the Saints to consider offers from top clubs and he's accused them of leaking conversations to the media. He's also insulted by reports that he trained alone by his choice when actually it was a manager that advised him to according to him. I'm not sure whether to feel sorry for Southampton fans or not, obviously the guy signed a six year contract not so long ago and then it comes out now that in January, even six months after signing that deal, he wanted to leave which obviously is... Not great form from him, I'm not sure how his head was turned, were Liverpool talking to him back then, was their interest clear? A lot of top clubs have been linked with Van Dijk since around that sort of time. Liverpool and Chelsea seem like the two clubs that are going to be fighting for him from now on, but Southampton's stance remains the same. Sam Wallace has said that they still insist he's not for sale. I've been having a look at the Southampton forums and they're really not happy with Liverpool, they're really saying some quite nasty things about us and look, tapping up thing, it's, it's happened, it's true, it's bad form from the Reds. It happens all the time, that's not an excuse, but it does happen all the time. And do, do we really think that Chelsea haven't spoken to him as well to gauge his interest from there? Do, are we really going to be naive enough to suggest that it's only Liverpool that are guilty of this? We all know that's not the case. They're annoyed at us for taking their best players every summer. Well, they're, they're players that are on the market, they're players that are available, they're players that we bid for. We've paid them some good money for Lambert, Lallana, Klein. Lovren, I'm forgetting Sir Mane. <laughs> all good deals for Southampton. All, all, a lot of those are £20 million pounds plus deals. We've really funded their, their transfer kitties over the last few years. Look, you produce good players. I'm sorry, but it's Southampton Football Club. The reality of it is they're going to be snapped up by United, Arsenal, as they have been, and Liverpool. It's not ideal for them, and I, I feel bad for them in that regard, but look, it's football. It's, it's always going to be a certain few teams that are going to take all the best players. Man City even started in it to Arsenal. You know, that, that's just how it is. But the Saints still don't want to sell to Liverpool, it seems. They'd much rather sell to Chelsea, but the player wants to come to Anfield, and that is still the case, says Ben Smith, formerly of the BBC, the man who was on Liverpool's patch for a while. Christian Walsh says Liverpool will go back in for Van Dijk, but only if they are aware that they'll start taking offers again. But the player could not have made it more clear that for him, the time to move on is now. Could the Saints just let him rot in the reserves for a year? Why would you do that when there's £60 million, pounds, at least £60 million pounds on the table for a player that you're having to pay? Just makes no sense to me, but it's Southampton's call, not mine. I do admire the Saints' stance. I do admire the fact they want to keep hold of this player. They want to build a team that's going to compete and, you know, become better in the Premier League, become maybe a top four challenger. We want to keep hold of Coutinho in the same way. Leipzig want to keep hold of Cater in the same way. Fair enough. Clubs should want to keep hold of their best players. The only difference with Coutinho is he has it seems like, except that we're not going to sell, he's not going to push through a move. He wants to move to Barcelona. You can't blame him. His head has been turned by his dream club. But he's going to give us another season at least. I think. I think and I hope. But let's not take that one for granted just yet either. Klopp obviously said the other day that he's happy with our centre-backs. He doesn't think we need to improve. Come on. Let's not take that as gospel. We know, of course, he's not going to try and dampen Clavin and Gomez's confidence, or even Lovren's and Matip's. He needs to keep the confidence of the team high. He needs to be praising everyone that's been doing well in pre-season. He spoke well of Moreno, Solanke and Kent, as he should. They all perform really well in pre-season. We've been pretty good in pre-season ourselves. Let's, let's be pretty positive about how things are going in that regard. I'm at the point now where I think I just take Van Dijk and have the window shut right there. I think Keita would have been Phenomenal, I think we would have been right among the title favourites if we could have got that deal done. But when you've got two clubs in Southampton and Leipzig that are just unwilling to sell, just as we are with Coutinho, I think you'll do well to get one of them. And Van Dijk solves so many issues for us. He really, really does. Hopefully his fitness isn't an issue. But look, it's still very much 50-50 for me as to whether he joins Chelsea or Liverpool. The bookies have us as favourites at 8 to 15, Chelsea 15 to 8, so maybe the next few days are the ones where we actually start to know, oh, will this one just drag till the end of August? I can imagine the fume among our fan base if we don't get any more deals done in the meantime. And I was furious at the start of the summer too. I still am disappointed with how the summer has panned out so far, but I'm starting to come to terms with it. I've been impressed with how some of the youngsters have done in pre-season. And look, don't tell me that pre-season is completely irrelevant because some careers, I think, have been somewhat launched. I think Solanke's done himself no harm. I think he's probably moved to Avery in the pecking order because of pre-season. I think Ryan Kent may well stick around on the back of what he's done in pre-season. Moreno might have another chance at Liverpool. 
you know, you just don't know. So, huge, huge day of news. Van Dijk transfer request. What's gonna happen? Where's it gonna end up? I think Chelsea really do need to strengthen as well. They do need another centre back. They really are gonna target him, aren't they? They're gonna go as, as in as hard as they can. It's nerve wracking, it's interesting, it's exciting. Leave a comment with where you think Van Dijk will end up and would you settle for just him as Liverpool's only other signing? As long as we keep Coutinho and all our other good players, would that make you happy enough? Hope you enjoyed the video guys. Please do subscribe to my channel for more of this sort of stuff. Drop a like, share the video for me and follow my other socials. It's Ben Say on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat and Facebook. And I'll see you next time.